guys, this is Jen from the Pulaski County Public Library Teen Department, and today I'm going to show y'all how I made an origami maple leaf. So here is my finished product right here, and what I used for this activity was a ruler, scissors, some craft glue, and I've got my tacky glue and Elmer's glue, but I went ahead and just used Elmer's glue because that works just as well, but if you prefer to use tacky glue, you know, that works too. And I also got craft paper. And as you can see, I went ahead and cut out some pieces of the craft paper right here. And according to the website, it gave specific measurements. So I have an eight by eight centimeters. I have two 6.6 .6 by 6.6 .6 centimeters, two 4.5 by 4.5 centimeters, and a 4.5 by 2 centimeters. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to use my 8 by 8 centimeters and I'm going to go ahead and just turn this around like a diamond shape and then, hey, can you see that here? Okay, so first what you're going to do is you're going to take the side here and just fold it along right there to the top to form a triangle. Let me try that again. Form a triangle. Just kind of fold it neatly like that. Then I'm going to unfold it. Okay, and then I'm going to take this side here again and I'm just going to kind of fold it halfway, just like, like that. I don't know if you can see it that well, or I can like maybe hold it up. There you go. I'm just gonna fold it neatly, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So yeah, just like that. Then I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to take this top triangle and just kind of fold it along like that. Okay, then what I'm gonna do, is so I'm gonna flip it to the side like this. And I'm going to take just this edge right here on this side, I'm gonna take this part out so it's gonna look like this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this bottom part right here and I'm going to fold that, fold it like this. So it comes out looking like this. And then the next step, and this is actually the hardest part of this whole activity. So I'm just gonna take my finger, put it inside, and I'm just going to very slowly and gently kind of fold it to kind of form a triangle. And like I said, this part is really tricky. My best advice is to go really slow and just do the best you can. It may not come out perfect, but you know what, that's okay. So now that I got my triangle here, I'm just going to take this top part. And as you can see, I got my top and my bottom triangle with a little crease in the middle. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So take this part out and just repeat the process. So I'm just going to fold it on the corner like that. So it kind of looks like this. And I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with the other side. So then it comes out, comes out like this. Next, I'm going to then flip it on the back. So it, so it kind of looks like this. 
And then I'm going to take my two little edges here and I'm just going to fold it along the crease on the side here. I'm going to take the other part and just do the same thing. So it's going to look like, the, like that. Well, let me fold it up again. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take the edge here and just kind of fold it out. And, oops, not what I wanted. It's okay though. Mistakes are a part of life, especially with crafts. And it's going to look like where like both wings are spread apart, basically. And then I just repeated the process with all of the other pieces here. And that is how I was able to just stack them all together and use my Elmer's glue, glued it all like that. And for the stem, which I used this little one here, all I did for that was I just folded the corners like this on both sides. I just put some glue on there, just very little glue. And then I just folded it again. So it looks like this. And all I did was just glue it on the back. And that is how I made my origami maple leaf. All right, thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.